So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Sony has finally revealed the PS5 user interface. And right off the bat, the leaks were right. As soon as you boot up your PS5, you're going to be presented with the user screen. And I'm pretty sure you can bypass this and have it automatically log in to you. So the boot times will be even faster. And as you guys can see, the power of the SSD, you'll just be able to instantaneously get into the game. In this case, we have Lil Big Planet, Sackboy's Adventure. And keep in mind, this is booting from uh, rest mode. So, of course, you're booting right into the game. But you have your PlayStation 4 control center. So this is it. You have cards here so you have your news you have your screenshot you have your progression of the game i'm not sure how well this is going to be utilized for the developers and of course you can see your friends online you have your music your sound your mic your accessories and you have your um your user right there in your power but going back to the game base this is where you're going to see your friends online you could check your downloads your updates etc and notice you see the ps5 icon next to the game so you're going to be able to quickly identify what system your friend is playing so sony did release an update yesterday enabling this feature it's on the ps4 now and i'm pretty sure if if i was playing the ps5 you're going to see it on the ps4 okay he's playing on the ps4 but that was a very controversial update because now the psn chats will have code of conduct so your party chats may be recorded and be sent out to sony I don't know, very controversial. I don't know why Sony did this. And then today they came out with the PS5 update. But nonetheless, I digress. Let's get back to the PS5 UI. But I absolutely love the control center here and seeing your, your progression. Um, if you're stuck on a level, it's going to be able to help you. If you have an active PlayStation Plus account, it's just a lot of good stuff left and right. And you can be able to watch a video on, to, on how to pass that level. So it's going to give you tips and tricks and advice to help improve your gameplay experience right there on the PlayStation without searching on YouTube or searching up articles. You have it right there on your PS4. And look at the loading times here, man. Man, I just, I want to test out <laughs> uh, GTA 5, Red Dead Redemption. I want to test out all the games that I waited so long. Hitman 2. I play a lot of Hitman 2 on my PS4. And <laughs> loading times on that is just painful, man. I could literally, all right, anyway. One of my favorite features of any tech product has to be picture in picture and split screen multitasking. The PS5 has that feature now. So if you want to look up that tip, you can snap it on the side, on the left or on the right. You can set it. And to be able to glance at a tip on advice to help you pass that level, it's just game changing stuff here. And I feel like we saw some features like this on the PS4. I mean, not exactly like this, but like share play. A friend could play a level for you if you're stuck and you guys can see the first time seeing the notification you could join the party chat right there just everything is beautiful snappy and i'm gonna be honest the ps4 ui isn't terrible it was just so slow it was almost like watching paint dry if you had a game running in the background and you an especially attentive one and you want to send a message forget about it. you better off grabbing your phone and texting your friend and that's it if you're joining the party chat it's just so slow but this, the fluidity level is just insane. Now, here's another feature I love. You have share screens. Now, we saw this before on the PS4 where it basically is the share play. and You can watch your friend play a game. But with this here, you have picture in picture and you can snap it on the side. So while you playing a game, you can watch your friend play a game. So if you guys are playing the same game at the same time, you can see how far your friend is <laughs> like, oh, man, the possibilities on this is just endless. If you're playing like a story mode game, you want to see who's going to beat the game faster. Yo, this is remarkable. Picture in picture. Now, I'm not sure if any third party applications will work like YouTube work on picture in picture while you're playing a game or even better Twitch. But knowing PlayStation, we might not even see the YouTube app yet or the Twitch. Because uh, if you guys remember, the PS4 didn't even have the YouTube app at first. But yeah, we got to see what media apps are going to be available at launch. And as you guys can see right now, we finally get Destruction All-Star gameplay, even though it's just a dance, just for them to screenshot, which screenshots are back through the create button. Now, all things aside, we finally see the PS5 home screen, and this is it. And honestly, first glimpse, I didn't like it. 
I feel like it was a lot of wasted space in the center. Um, I didn't like how they moved the games all the way on the top. And then you have the PlayStation Store to purchase the game on the right. And then you have the icon on the bottom left. I just feel like there's nothing front and center. And then the background, they lowered down the opacity. It's just weird to look at, at the you know, for the first time, um, so to speak. But the more and more I start to look at it, the more and more it doesn't look too shabby. And, the, you know, when you go down, you see your activities. I just feel like they should have brung that up a little bit, like bring your activities I just feel like that something should be in the middle. Something should be in the middle to really refine the user interface. But I guess they want to keep the simplicity. They don't want to give the users too much on screen. Um, and as you guys can see, you have your explore. You can see what's going on on PlayStation. You also have your popular games. Think of this as like the Twitter home screen where the amount of things that you follow or the things that you watch, you're going to see it right here. Um, and of course, you're going to have your PlayStation stuff to your official blog from playstation or the news i should say quote unquote now i do appreciate we have a media tab on the top left so you can access all your media apps without going into a separate application to launch up youtube or netflix um yeah that's compared to the ps4 so yeah that's basically it that's all what they showed uh, i'm not saying i hate the ui it's just some weird choices that they made it would have been nice to see the platter of games on the bottom or like on the lower bottom and then have the graphic of the game on the top and that would have been a lot more nicer in my opinion and then you could still of course go down and see your activities and see your friends and everything like that but that's just my opinion and oh yeah I almost forgot we have the ps5 keyboard here you have dictation since the microphone is on the dual sense so you could be able to talk to text on the ps5 nice and quick that's going to be way faster than actually typing it so that's a welcome change the user interface looks fast and fluid cannot wait to get my hands on the ps5 we less than 30 days away that is just insane on how close we are to next generation consoles and if you guys want to see more ps5 videos make sure you guys click on that subscribe button with notifications on and comment down below what you guys think about the user interface and drop a like on this video help me out a bunch all right guys until next time